Kia ora all. Kia You're ora. joining us on TU Talks and today we're talking secure work or insecure work more, more readily. I'm Sandra Gray, the National Secretary of the TEU. I'm Daniel benson Gill. I'm an organiser with the TEU. So there's lots to let you know about. We're just starting a campaign at five campuses around insecure work. So, you know, what are the issues there? So um, what's it all about, Dan? You start off. What do you take insecure work to mean and be? Insecure work can be confusing because it's got lots of names and we've um, prepared some resources to sort of d demonstrate that. You can maybe call it a fixed term worker, casual. You may have come in through an agency um, or you may have a zero hours contract. If you do, I'd be concerned because that is definitely illegal. But fixed term contracts generally, um, very often I find people don't know that they're on a contract that isn't legitimate. It gets rolled over time and time again. And for a lot of us who may be younger or women or people coming back into the workforce in one way or another, sometimes you just take what you can get, but that doesn't mean it's right. Yeah, look, and the big thing about this is it's not a small number of people in New Zealand who, who have these very insecure agreements and, and very insecure futures as a result. Um, the last statistic we got was um, that uh, around 600,000 working people are on these very precarious insecure contracts or agreements. Um, that's, you know, um, about one in three uh, of the working population. We don't know how high it is in our sector. But we can assume that there are real problems and actually, you know, the COVID moment has proved to us how problematic this is because the first people who have lost their jobs in the tertiary education sector in universities, one and polytechnics, are people who have a casual agreement or a fixed term agreement. So this is why we just want to kick this campaign off and talk to you about it. So, um, you know, we know in Australia about 60% of teaching is actually done by those who don't have a good, solid, sound, long-term, um, you know, working agreement. So that that's really problematic. And I guess the thing is, is that it is legal to have a contract that may be fixed term or casual, but the question is whether that contract is one that you should be on because of the nature of the work that you're doing. So we uh, find that, you know, teaching is the core activity in universities. It doesn't seem legitimate to us that potentially 60% mm. of staff may be on fixed term contracts. Mm. And there's recently been a ruling in New Zealand too about in insecure money. So one of the reasons our universities, Polytechnics and Wananga users, we don't know that we're going to have money next year to employ you, but there's a recent um, court decision that says, um, you know, actually, you know, you actually can't use that as the excuse mm. for putting a whole lot of people into very insecure agreements. So we're looking to take that on. We're going to use a whole lot of ways to do that. But the first is to let you know a little bit more about it. I mean, it is problematic though, isn't it, Dan? You yeah. and I have both been workers we with have been. fixed term yeah. agreements. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and it's sometimes what you know you can get. Mm. But... Um, that's why joining a union is useful because uh, going and talking to colleagues about whether the contract that you're on and talking to your union organiser or branch committees mm -hmm. about insecure work is a way to actually challenge that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we challenge it often as organisers and as a union. And as a result of that, we get people who then transfer over to permanent contracts because we found that the reasons behind their contract um, were not legitimate. Yeah. So it, it goes down 30, to permanent. 30 people this year. And I know, you know, for some of you that may sound a lot, but that's 30 families and mm. 30 um, workers who now can have some surety about being able to go and apply for loans or plan a holiday um, or take their family, you know, out to see relatives because they know they're going to have a job after you know, the summer ends or whatever it is. So it's really, really important to remember these are real people mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. really suffer in these moments. And we've got some quotes um, from members who've talked up about this and we'd love to hear your views, share them through the social media. But, you know, one of the members talked to us and said, I was once told that casual work is a gift, that I was lucky to have it. You know, that's a terrible thing to say to a worker. It's that dependence that somehow we should be grateful to have any job. We shouldn't. Because the union is always here to provide a voice. We're the voice of our members. And often when you're on an insecure contract, you feel like you can't speak up. You don't want to challenge. You don't want to say things that may be out of line in case you may not have a contract that continues. Mm. So... 
it really goes down to this idea of what we expect our academic institutions to look like and what we expect the workforce in New Zealand to look like more widely. And that, again, is, is the work that we do on a day-to-day -day mm. basis. And together we have to challenge the idea that the new normal is to be casual, is to not have a secure future. Um, the world is topsy-turvy at the moment, but actually, you know, secure work does mean a better future. So, you know, what can you do? Where can you go? Well, um, if you want posters, you can just get in touch with TU. Um, and we're really easy to find. We've got these great little cubes that tell everybody that actually you don't need to leave your future to the roll of a dice. You can mm -hmm. join the TU. So get in touch with us if you want posters. But as Dan says, organisers, always ready to talk, aren't they? Always, always ready. And talk with your colleagues because collective action is about getting together in a room with those people who you may be sharing an office space with as well. That's what we do as a union. Mm. That's collectivising issues because you'll find that it's a lot wider than just you or your two or three colleagues who you go down to the cafe with. It may be a big issue on your campus. So take two for TEU. We're encouraging you to do that always. Um, get in touch with us, talk to your colleagues, lend a support even if you are. If you have a secure job, think about all the people around you who don't. Um, join our network, go online at tu.ac.nz find the Secure Work campaign, and hey, stand up for everybody to have a better future. Secure Work, Better Futures, it's that simple. Kia ora.